Caravan and Camping Show is brought to you by Caravan in Queensland and Brisbane RVs Winnebago. Welcome to the Caravan and Camping Show. Each week on the show, one of our presenters will take the RV out to one of the beautiful spots in southeast Queensland. On this week's show, Neil took a drive up to Lake Somerset. Let's see what he got up to. G'day folks, welcome to this week's Camping and Caravan Show. And to do it right, I'm Neil Stewart. We've come up here to Lake Somerset. Famous for fishing, canoeing, water skiing, and a whole lot of other action. That beautiful view out there over my shoulder was all but ready to be explored. So come with me and we'll have a look at some of the great wonders around the Brisbane Valley. Back in the 1930s, an ever-growing Brisbane population forced the construction of a water catchment area known as Lake Somerset. Construction of the dam began in 1935, but was stalled due to the Second World War. It was resumed in 1948 and finally finished in 1959. Lake Somerset was later complemented in 1984 with the construction of the Wyvernhoe Dam, which Lake Somerset now feeds into. It flows down the Brisbane River to the Mount Crosby Pumping Station, situated 132 kilometres away. Since its completion in 1959, Somerset has provided a great holiday destination for Queenslanders. If there's a nice breeze, you can pull out your sailing cap, or if the lake is like glass, you can go for a swim in the fresh water and just relax with a picnic looking out at the amazing views. There's also the option to get a boating or fishing permit, so you can either put your powerboat on the water and go water skiing, or you can try your hand at freshwater fishing. Travelling out to Lake Somerset from Brisbane, once again you head out along the Ipswich Highway, before turning into the Warrego Highway. Ten minutes later, Take a left onto the Brisbane Valley Highway, heading out to Brisbane's water catchments. Travelling along the Brisbane Valley Highway, the first town you'll pass through is Fernvale, followed by Esk. There are cute little towns which feature craft shops, antiques and collectibles, as well as a place to have a snack or a pit stop. Continuing along Brisbane Valley Highway, you'll turn off onto Esk Kilcoy Road and follow this all the way to Somerset Dam, where you'll pass the Lake Somerset General Store. One of the last places to get fuel and some other supplies. Fuel at Holiday Park. Located 120 kilometres from Brisbane, it will take you about an hour and a half to get out on the lake and away from the city. There are other routes that you can take to get to Somerset Dam, such as Mount Glorious and along the eastern side of Lake Wyvernhoe, driving along Wyvernhoe Somerset Road. Well, Neil's gone for an unpowered site right near the water. Before he gets settled in, he caught up with Katrina, one of the managers of the park. Well, here I am at Lake Somerset Holiday Park, where it really is a step back in time with nature. Absolutely beautiful. But to find out more, I've got the RV parked up there. I want to be here for a few days. And I've found the park manager, beautiful Katrina. Katrina, just tell us a little bit about your wonderful park and as the manager, what's on offer to not just me, but all the wonderful people that come to stay here. Okay, the park's set on about 45 acres. Mm -hmm. uh, we cater mainly for the camper, so we do have unpowered camping sites. We have powered camping sites, and we also have a 1940s log cabin. We've got three boat ramps in the park, so the park is perfect for your water skier or your fisherman. We've also got a couple of playgrounds for the children. Mm -hmm. We have a full fish cleaning station. Uh, you're allowed to have campfires throughout the park, and you can use generators in the unpowered camping as well. And uh, certain times of the year does the program change where you have other things on offer to the public or the boys and girls? I, I saw a big white screen up there. Tell me about that. Yes. Um, most weekends in summer we have our famous outdoor cinema where we Wonderful. put on a movie for the children. And on long weekends we have discos, which the children and the families really love. And we also have um, special activities that vary, like we have... Um, jumping castles and face painting and so it's a real good family atmosphere in that time. And as you can see if you want to cook up a storm and tantalise the taste buds a little, no better way to do it than a free electric barbecue and very clean tables and chairs and beautiful surroundings to enjoy it. 
So right here, I'm standing outside one of the new, it's one of five amenities for toilet and shower, and two of those five have got washing machines that are coin operated, so you can look spiffy and clean if you want to toss it up a bit with the neighbours. So it really is comfort away from home, and yet you're out here in this wonderful bush setting. So to welcome all the wonderful travellers, whether they have camper trailer, mobile home or caravan, how many can you handle if people decide to come and have a weekend or a week here? They've got plenty of opportunity. How many can you put on board here? At capacity, the park holds about 2,500 people. Wow, so it's like its own little satellite city. Sounds terrific. I think I'll spend a few days here whether I want to fish, canoe or even water ski. That's right. Coming up after the break, Neil will get out on the lake and see if he can catch some lunch. Touring Tip was brought to you by Brisbane Campland.